Hi folks, this is Vivek from Exam Victor. In this lesson, I'd like to go over some of the fundamentals of profit and loss. As usual, if you have any feedback, comments or doubts, do send me an email at vivek at the rate examvictor.com. Okay, so before we start solving problems, there is a terminology that is used in all profit and loss questions. So it's very, very important to be very familiar with this terminology. Some things are very simple and obvious, but some things we'll just go over them again. The first is of course cost price. Cost price is what? The item costs the seller to manufacture or procure. Then you have the selling price. Selling price is the price that the finally the seller sells the item for. So selling price is obvious, there's no twist here. Cost price though, there is one small twist. I'll explain this with an example. For example, let's say that you are a seller of second-hand scooters. So for you, the cost price is actually the cost involved in procuring an old scooter so procuring plus repairing also. So let's say the old scooter had some flaws in it. You had to get it repainted or whatever. All those repairing costs are also included in your cost price because you had to do all of this work, the procurement and the repair to make it worthy to sell. So this is what the item costs the seller to manufacture or procure. So that is also included in your cost price. Selling price is obvious, there's no clue, there's no twists here. It's just the price that you sell the item for. Once these two are clear, then profit or loss is very simple. It is just selling price minus cost price. If the selling price minus cost price is positive, then it's called profit. If it's negative, then it's called loss. So this is obvious, everybody knows this, profit and loss. So that's what we are saying in these two bullets. Cost price greater than selling price, it's called loss cost price lesser than selling price it's called a profit then we come to the concept of fixed cost and variable cost fixed cost is a cost that is not related to the number of items produced let's say that you own a small manufacturing plant then the cost of say the machine that you had to buy or the rent that you have to pay or of the plot of land that you occupy that is a fixed cost because it doesn't really matter if you're producing one item, thousand items or 10,000 items, your rent will not change, right? So that is an example of a fixed cost. Variable cost is a cost that is directly proportional, directly proportional to the number of items produced. So for example, if in producing your final product, let's say you use a raw material, which is for example, oil. So if you produce thousand items, let's say you use two liters of oil, that means if you produce 2000 items, you'll have to use 4 liters of oil. So you see it is directly proportional to the number of items. So such a cost is called a variable cost. Now, these two are a little bit tricky, but you can take heart in the fact that I've very, very rarely, very rarely seen these come in aptitude exams, especially in CAT. CAT, actually the profit and loss questions were important a few years ago. Nowadays, they have not really appeared that much. Still, we should be familiar with them because one, profit and loss questions themselves could come. We don't know what will happen this year. And second, the concepts that you understand and use here are the same concepts that you can use in other questions also. So it's important to be familiar with this section. Okay, so now that we've covered the basic terminology, I'll now show you the only and probably the most important formula, the most important formula in the whole of profit and loss section. It is this formula. It is the formula for the profit percent or the gain percent or the loss percent. You can call it whatever you want. This formula is probably, I would say 90 to 95 percent of the questions are just based on twists of this formula. And it's very simple. The profit percent is just the profit upon the cost price into 100. Very simple. That's it. So I'd like to point out a few things. First of all, the denominator. The denominator is always, always cost price. Don't ever get confused and put selling price in the denominator or profit in the denominator. It's always cost price. The numerator is profit if you're calculating profit percent. It is loss if you're calculating loss percent. So this number, this number itself is always positive because you adjust the sign in the numerator, right? You don't put a negative number in the numerator. So if it's a loss, then that's actually a negative profit, but you are going to adjust the sign. That's why the formula itself will result in a positive number. Okay. Some more things that I'd like to explain. The same formula for profit percent can also be written as selling price minus cost price by cost price 
into 100. This is obvious selling price minus cost price is profit or loss as the case may be. So I have just written the same thing in a different way. This can also be simplified as selling price by cost price minus 1 into 100. These are all just different uh, views or methods of looking at this formula guys. So just to make sure that you are very comfortable in applying it in any format. Sometimes it might be easier to calculate this, sometimes it might be easier to calculate this. Just remember the denominator is always cost price. Okay. Numerator has selling price or selling price minus cost price depending on how you write it. Denominator is always cost price. So since we understand this formula now, I'd like to spend a few minutes discussing what it really means in the real world. So let's take an example. What does it mean if you have a profit of 25%? So what when you see this in a question or in a sentence, this is obviously referring to the profit percentage, right? It's saying that the profit percent is 25%. What does that mean? One way to look at it is that it's just that the selling price is 25% more than the cost price. Okay. This is also a way to look at it. So this helps you to quickly get the answer sometimes if you understand it this way. When you say the profit percent is 25%, you're just saying that the selling, selling price is 25% more than the cost price. How is this so? If you, if you see the sentence SP is 25% more than CP, that means SP is equal to 125 by 100 into CP, right? So if you simplify this further, so that means SP by CP is equal to 100 plus 25 by 100. And if you rewrite the right hand side, that's 1 plus 25 by 100. And if you take the 1 to the left hand side, then you get SP by CP minus 1 into 100 is 25, right? And this is the formula for, you'll, you'll remember from the previous page, this is the formula for profit percent. So saying that the profit is 25% is also saying that the selling price is 25% more than the cost price. And we just proved through this quick demonstration how that means the same thing. So this is one way that I would like you to internalize this formula what it means when you say that there's a profit of 25%. It's just saying that the selling price is 25% more than the cost price. This will help us solve questions faster. We'll see some examples where this actually works out. All right, guys, first example. So the question is saying the profit earned when an article is sold for 800 rupees is 20 times the loss incurred when it is sold for 275 rupees. At what price should the article be sold if it is desired to make a profit of 25%? So first let's frame the equation that we get from the first sentence. So the, there's an article that is sold at 800 and that is 20 times the loss incurred when it is sold at 275. What we don't know is the cost price. So let the cost price equal to C. I am not at all advising that you should be writing these sentences in the exam. Obviously I'm writing them here so that we all understand what we're solving. In the exam, of course, I want you to take every shortcut possible and write the minimum amount. So anyway, let the cost price be C. Then we can write that 800 is the selling price, right? And the profit is 800 minus C because that's the selling price minus the cost price. Now this profit is 20 times the loss. So the loss is going to be C minus 275. So this profit, when you sell it at 800, so 800 minus C is that profit is 20 times the loss when you sell it for 275. Notice that I have not made it 275 minus C because 275 minus C is going to be negative. We are told that it's a loss. Loss means I'm going to put cost price minus selling price, right? Loss is equal to CP minus SP. And we do this to avoid the negative sign. So I have already done that here, I've reversed the sign. So it's C minus 275. Now I just have to solve this 800 minus C equal to 20 C minus 275 into 20, the way to do it quickly is just 2 into 275. It's 2 into 200, it's 400. 2 into 75, 150. So 550, add the 0. So 5,500, right? Now solve the equation. So 21C is equal to 55 plus 8, that's 63. 6300. So that gives us C equal to 300. Right. Now the second part of the question is asking, at what price should the article be sold if it is desired to make a profit of 25%? Here is where we will use what we discussed just now. Profit of 25%. So I'm just looking for a selling price that is 25% more than 300. 
so that makes my I don't have to write the formula now I can solve it very fast 25 percent of 300 so that is just we know that 300 half is 150 half of that is 75 so 25 percent of 300 is 75 25 percent of 300 equal to 75 so if I want 25 percent more I just have to add the 75 to this 300 so 375 should be my answer which is option C so guys this was a shortcut way to solve right this was we did not end up writing the formula at this stage after I got the cost price I could have written the formula and there's nothing wrong in that it just takes a couple steps more I could have written s minus 300 by 300 into 100 equal to 25 right this is the formula for, for the profit percent I know that the profit percent is 25 so I can just continue solving like this if I do that I'll actually get the same answer right 300 take it to this side so this is s minus 300 s minus 300 equal to 3 into 25 that's 75 so s is 375 it's just that it it took me time to write this step and this step whereas I got the answer straight away now either method is fine whichever you're comfortable with this method just saves time sometimes okay another question if the cost price of 12 pence is equal to the selling price of 8 pence what is the gain percentage it's one sentence right the whole question is one sentence and it's just saying let's use our usual variables cost price is C selling price is S so then it's saying the cost price of 12 pence which is 12 C is equal to the selling price of 8 pence 8 S so now we've got a relationship between C and S which is that S is equal to 12 upon 8 which is 3 by 2 C now we are being asked the gain percentage method 1 is of course using the formula the formula is S minus C by C into 100 is equal to gain percent now I can substitute for S or for C I'll just substitute for S so it's 3 by 2 C minus C by C into 100 cancel all these that's equal to 3 by 2 is 1.5 so this is minus 1 so it's 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 100 which is 50 percent right I could have done this or I can just look at s is equal to 3 by 2 c and I can see that s is equal to c plus 0 0.5 c and I know that this 0 0.5 is the profit percent part right because we already agreed that selling price and cost price the percentage difference of these two is the profit percent profit percent is just how much percent more is the selling price than the cost price and that is you can see it right here 0.5 so 50 percent and you could have ticked c as the answer so another demonstration you can use the formula or you can use the instinctive method both are fine whichever is more comfortable for you and whichever you think you're faster in okay so another question a milkman has 20 liters of milk he mixes 5 liters of water which is freely available in the 20 liters of pure milk if the cost of pure milk is 18 rupees per liter then the profit of the milkman when he sells all the mixture at cost price is so let's understand what's going on here there was a milkman who had a container with 20 liters of milk all right the cost of this container is 18 per liter so the full cost is going to be of course 18 into 20 this is the cost price for him this is C right he had another smaller container of water this is 5 liters of water he mixes both of these containers and he gets one large container which has now 25 liters milk plus water and he's selling this at again 18 rupees so his total selling price is 18 into 25 right his cost for milk for water sorry was zero because water we are told is freely available so now basically he had 20 liters of milk he's selling 25 liters of milk he got 5 liters water for free so he's mixed them he's selling it at the same price so his selling price is 18 into 25 because he just boosted the volume the cost price is 18 into 20 the question is trying to confuse you by saying that the selling price per unit is the same as the cost price per unit that's all it's just an attempt to confuse you you should see that the volume is more so totally the person makes more money right he's selling 18 into 25 his cost is 18 into 20 so we're looking for the profit percent one way to do this of course is figure out this number figure out this number apply the formula let's just do that so 18 into 25 
माइनस एटीन इंटू ट्वेंटी बाय एटीन इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू हंड्रेड यू ऑब्जर्व दैट इमीडिएटली द प्रो द कॉस्ट प्राइस द नंबर दैट एटीन इट्स गेट्स कैंसल्ड राइट सो दिस एटीन इज नॉट नेसेसरी फॉर एस टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इफ वी वर नॉट गिवन द कॉस्ट प्राइज वी वर जस्ट टोल्ड दैट ही सेल्स द द मिल्क प्लस वाटर मिक्सचर एट द सेम यूनिट प्राइस एज द प्योर मिल्क दैट इट सेल्फ वॉज इनफ फॉर एस एनी वे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू सॉल्विंग सो द न्यूमिनेटर इज फाइव बाई ट्वेंटी इन टू हंड्रेड राइट एंड दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो द आंसर फॉर एस इज बी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट बट लेट्स सी इफ यू कड हैव सॉल्व दिस जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट द नंबर्स एंड नॉट राइटिंग द प्रॉफिट पर्सन फॉर्मूला राइट दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर प्रॉफिट पर्सन लेट जस्ट सी इफ वी हैड टू राइट दिस और वी कड हैव सॉल्व इट इंस्टिंगटिवली we know that we have to sell 18 into 25 and we have 18 into 20 so you can see that this number is 1/4 more than this number why because 1/4 of 20 1/4 of 20 is 5 and that's what has been added right the 20 has become 25 liters and 1/4 is 25% or 0.25 So what we are reaching at is that the same thing. S is equal to C plus zero point two five C. If you were able to observe that looking at these two numbers, then you could have quickly said that point two five. So twenty five percent is my answer. So B. This is also fine. This is also fine. Neither takes that much time to do. So whichever you are comfortable with, that is what should work for you. All right, guys. These were some basics for profit and loss. We'll look at uh, more advanced questions in this in the following videos. This is Vivek. Thanks for watching.